Welcome to the next mini lecture. Uh, this topic today is delivery, and we will uh, break this into two parts. The first part will be vocal delivery, and the second part will be the use of the body in delivery. Uh, in our last lecture, we examined uh, the canon of style, that is, the linguistic choices that we make. And we said good style features clarity, uh, emotion, and inclusion. Um, we also examined some rhetorical devices to help aid in style, particularly repetition and metaphor. Uh, but today I'd like to turn our attention to the canon of delivery. Uh, that is how the words are spoken rather than the actual word choices themselves. Now more specifically we're going to discuss the use of the voice and the body and how delivery uh, creates some meaning for an audience and also uh, the ethos that pe can be gained from a speaker employing effective delivery techniques. Um, when we mention uh, delivery, we're talking about the use of the voice and the body. And vocal delivery, we're talking about uh, four or five elements. The rate, the volume, the pitch, the diction, and does a speaker employ a conversational tone? First, let's talk about the rate. Now, the rate refers to how fast or slow or the speed of the, uh, of the, uh, the, the delivery. Does the speaker vary the speed? Does he speed up and slow down? Uh, or does he speak at a particular pace all the time? Bueller, Bueller. So uh, we want to vary our rate. It's pleasant and it helps the audience to maintain uh, their interest. Pausing, equally effective. I like the William Shatner School of Acting, Spock. Pausing is very effective. It adds emphasis and lets the audience know that that word or phrase is important. Uh, pitch or, or tonality is another thing that we should be concerned about. Pitch or tonality is going up the scale and going down the scale. Uh, think of it, uh, again, vocal variety. We don't want to be monotone. We don't want to be the other end of the spectrum and be the sing-songy uh, delivery either. But uh, varying your, your rate uh, and uh, your pitch or your tonality is something else. Uh, volume, how loud or, or how softly we speak, is also important in terms of delivery. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Seinfeld, and Seinfeld's a great laboratory for vocal deliveries. He's got the high talkers and the low talkers and the close talkers, all sorts of speech maladies. But it, in being an effective speaker, it's important to be heard. Um, so volume is also important. Uh, diction or pronunciation is uh, another term, which I don't believe I included at first, but how we pronounce things, are we clear? Uh, can people understand us? Do we use the correct pronunciation? Uh, extremely important. I can think of a couple of past presidents who I have a little less confidence in now who used to mispronounce a key word like nuclear. Yes, and one of them was a nuclear engineer. So I have a little less confidence in the man in the White House when he can't pronounce the word that will annihilate us all. So that's important as well. I think of another story of a student who was giving this great speech about the tragedy in the Sudan, and then talking about the Darfur region and the genocide there, and the capital uh, of Darfur being Khartoum. And throughout the whole speech, the student uses the word cartoon. I thought Elmer Fudd and Daffy Duck were going to come up on stage at the end of her speech and join her. Uh, so being, uh, <laughs> having excellent diction and pronunciation is also important. Having a conversational tone. That is, we are not going to be speaking from a manuscript nor from memory, rather you're speaking from an outline, and you want to sound as if you're having a conversation with the audience. So you should have good enough command of your speech to sound as you're uh, conversational. Uh, so the use of the voice is particularly critical in terms of the speaker's uh, ability to convey a message, to convey meaning, and also on your, in your ethos or your credibility as a speaker. When we come back uh, in part two, I'm going to devote the second part of the mini lecture to talking about the use of the body.